Director of the Legal Assistance Center, Tony Hancock, says that the LAC has long been committed to advocating for marginalized groups, and workshops like these represent a crucial step forward in a collective effort. We gather here to embark on a journey towards empowerment, justice and equality for San communities across Namibia. And it, it's a very, very exciting start. And I'm really, I'm so hopeful and so confident that this is going to be the start of something good for all of us. European Union representative Silke Hofs said the union would donate $6.5 million to efforts to provide local San communities with the tools to amplify their human rights awareness. The funds will be utilized on training and equipping individuals in the San community in, among others, navigating the legal landscape. The goal is to amplify the community's opportunities for engagement in decision-making, she says, while opening them to more opportunities at local, regional and international level. In the 34 years since Namibia independence, the San people have faced profound and multi multifaceted challenges. These include um, discrimination, socio-economic marginalization, loss of cultural heritage, lack of political representation, limited access to education and health services, just to name a few. Additionally, environmental pressures, recurrent droughts, changes in land use and climate change have impacted the SANS community's ability so to sustain traditional livelihoods and lifestyles. Various representatives of the Khoisan community were represented at the workshop, including traditional leaders.